Hey, Artie. It's uh, day three. So I had a pretty decent morning. I slept a little bit later today because I uh, did Uber and Lyft last night. That was fun. Um, I ended up having a breakfast calzone this morning. Pretty cool. Turned out really good. Um, and then uh, I finished a picture this morning. Right. Um, let's see. I think we left off on chapter three. No window. The question. The first day of school was always a get acquainted day. Books were passed out and there was a lot of chatter. Everyone asked, what did you do over the summer? Periods 1 through 6 went by very smoothly for Nick, but then came period 7. Miss Granger's class was all business. The first thing they did was take a vocabulary pretest to see how many of the 35 words of the week the kids already knew. Tremble, circular, orchestra, the list went on and on. Nick knew most of them. Then there was a handout about class procedures. After that, there was a review paper about cursive writing. Then there was a sample sheet showing how the heading should look on every assignment. No let up for 37 minutes straight. Nick was an expert at asking the delaying question, also known as the teacher stopper or the guaranteed time waster, at three minutes before the bell. In that split second, between the end of today's classwork and the announcement of tomorrow's homework, Nick could launch a question guaranteed to sidetrack the teacher long enough to delay or even wipe out the homework assignment. Timing was important, but asking the right question, that was the hard part. Questions about stuff at the news, questions about the college the teacher went to, questions about the teacher's favorite book or sport or hobby. Nick knew all the tricks, and he had been very successful in the past. Here, he was in fifth grade, near the end of his very first language arts class with Miss Granger, and Nick could feel a homework assignment come in the way a farmer can feel a rainstorm. Miss Granger paused to catch her breath, and Nick's hand shot up. She glanced down at her seating chart and then up at him. Her sharp gray eyes were not even turned up to half power. Yes, Nicholas? Miss Granger, you have so many dictionaries in this room, and that huge one, especially... Where did all those words come from? Did they just get copied from other dictionaries? It sure is a big book. With a perfect thought grenade. Kapow! Several kids smiled and a few peeked at the clock. Nick was famous for this, and the whole class knew what he was doing. Unfortunately, so did Miss Granger. She hesitated a moment and gave Nick a smile that was just a little too sweet to be real. Her eyes were the color of a thundercloud. Why, what an interesting question, Nicholas. I could talk about that for hours, I bet. She glanced around the classroom. Do the rest of you want to know, too? Everyone nodded, yes. Very well then, Nicholas. Will you do some research on that subject and give a little oral report to the class? If you find out the answer yourself, it will mean so much more than if I just told you. Please have your report ready for our next class. Ms. Granger smiled at him again, very sweetly, then it was back to business. Now, the homework for tomorrow can be found on page 12 of your Words Alive book. Nick barely heard the assignment. His heart was pounding and he felt small, very small. He could feel the tops of his ears glowing red, a complete shutdown, an extra assignment, and probably a little black mark next to his name on the seating chart. Everything he had heard about this teacher was true. Don't mess around with a lone granger. Seems like he uh, got himself into a little bit of trouble there. It didn't go the way he wanted it to. Uh, I think we've all been there, though. That's why it doesn't uh, pay to be too clever, I guess. Too clever for his own good. Um, so, I think uh, time to teach you a few words from the book. Okay, let's see. Adjudicate the verb. To reside over or listen to opposing arguments and help two parties settle the difference and come to an agreement. As my daughters pummeled each other while screaming at the top volume, I tried desperately to adjudicate a quarrel. That's spelled A-D-J-U-D-I-C-A-T-E. Ad nauseum. It's an adverb. Something that goes on and on, or is done over and over again, to a ridiculous, even sickening degree. At first, we were all impressed that Steve could recite the entire Gettysburg Address, but we all got kind of sickened when he repeated the first ad nauseum. That's spelled A D with space N A U S E A 
um, adroit or adroit adjective skilled or clever in a particular pursuit it's kind of sad betty said to barbara that will thinks it's his adroit opera singing abilities will impress women a d r o i t adulatory adjective complimentary giving of effusive phrase he includes in his final chapter a passage of adulatory prose from Henry James. That's a quote from Joyce Carol Oates, another American author. Spell A D U L A T O R Y. Aegis, the noun, the protection, support, and help rendered by a guardian, supporter, backer, or mentor. She don't think she's above reproach because she's under the aegis of that marketing vice president with a pension for younger women. So A E G I S. Aesthetic is an adjective relating to beauty and the appreciation of beauty. Covering your walls of pictures torn from the newspaper does not constitute a genuine aesthetic sense. Harold. Spelled A E S T A G T I C. Those are your words for today. Um, I'm going to finish coloring your sister's pages before the next video. Um, and, uh, yeah, um, still miss you guys a lot. Um, but these, uh, videos are definitely, um, helping me, um, at least smile a little bit more. Um, just picturing um, your reactions to them and just knowing that every video is one step closer to seeing you guys again. And uh, yeah, I just can't wait to um, you know, just start doing things together um, like I had planned on to begin with. Um, and now I, uh, I have my own schedule again. I, uh, I'm just doing Uber and Lyft. So I have a bunch of uh, free time. And I can't wait to spend it with you guys. Um, I love you. And hope uh, your day goes pretty sweet. You know, remember, stay good for your mom. And uh, you know, be a good example for your sisters. You know, make sure uh, everybody's okay. I mean, uh, this isn't easy. I can, I know you can do it. Bye, everybody.